Some of those developers obviously don't do that. They turn business requirements into Java serialized objects. Well, that's, that's perhaps a story for another day. Before I talk about joins, uh, I want to talk about developers and, and we'll see how this leads in to joins shortly. When it comes to accessing data or, or working with data, developers are, are like a black box. Business requirements go in one end and SQL, SQL, comes out the other. That's part of the art of being a database developer. Some of those developers obviously don't do that. They turn business requirements into Java serialized objects. Well, that's, that's perhaps a story for another day. But heading back to SQL, a query against one table is generally easy to write. The, the concept is simple. I'm filtering out the results I want from a single table. The moment we get into multiple tables, that's where those new two databases and particular relational databases often tend to get a little bit confused or they tend to struggle. And obviously that means joins. Now, the reason for this is, is really just part of the way we're made up as human beings. As human beings, we're very... Uh, process or task oriented. You know, we, we plan out things in a procedural fashion. You know, it's grab the keys, go to the car, drive to the shop, you know, pick up some essentials, get in the car, drive home, unload the shopping, et cetera, et cetera. We do things in a sort of task oriented way and business requirements are the same. They're phrased in this task oriented way. It's first of all, get each employee. And then with each employee, go do this, look up this, go do that, do this. It's very task oriented. Of course, what this is not is set based and the whole underpinning of relational databases is set theory. So in this case, developers become a black box of turning procedural requirements into set based solutions, namely SQL. That is the art of being a database developer and sometimes could also be considered the hardest part of being a database developer. And that's how this is going to lean into my favorite join or my new favorite join. Let's start with my simple employee table. And the requirement that might come in is for each employee, for that particular department that employee is in, go find the benefits or the bonuses that might come from the department allocated to that employee. Here is my department benefits table. It's got a department number in there. So here is the standalone query I would write if I just had a given employee. I'd simply go query my department benefits table, pass in the department number for that employee, and the job is done. As I said, writing queries against a single table is generally pretty easy. But now I need to fold that into the requirement for each employee, which means I need to fold it into the employee table via a join. So when I grab that standalone query and just fold it in the employee table in what I would consider a fairly intuitive way, it doesn't work. Joins just don't work that way. That is where lateral comes in, my new favorite join. I think of it as a correlated inline view, an inline view that can reference the joining table. Lateral lets me do the intuitive thing, simply grab my standalone query, fold it into the join, reference the outer tables columns, and we're good to go. Now you might be thinking, well, hold on a second, all I had to do was simply grab that join condition and move it outside and I would have a standard join, no need for lateral. But let me level up this requirement a little bit to see why I think lateral is a very cool piece of technology. Let's say the requirement now is not just go find the benefits for a given department for a known employee. Let's say it's find the best benefit. What's the highest benefit? Now, once again, going back to my standalone query, given that employee and their department, I might write a query like this. Simply go get the department benefits and order by the bonus and then get the first one using a fetch first. That's a kind of query I would write against a standalone single table. Without lateral, to fold that back into a join against the employee table is non-trivial. I might need to do a group buy, I might need to do an analytic, I might need a self-join back to department bonuses to extract other information. It's a much more complicated join to write. Whereas lateral just lets me do the same thing. Grab an existing query that works against one table, fold it into a calling table, so to speak, and the job is done. Now, don't get me wrong, it's quite possible that you could handcraft the join that is perhaps more efficient. You'll do a better job. But as Luth said, let's not work on premature optimization. Let's tackle that should the case arise. But for the vast majority of time, simply 
building your queries with this lateral syntax is going to perhaps map more closely to how you would do it in a uh, non-technical way, as in task-oriented way, as humans do. Let me give you one last example where lateral makes things easy, where it might not even be possible to simply convert that to a conventional join. Here I have a company table and each row, you could call this bad design, has a comma separated list of people in parts of that company. I would like to convert that to rows, one row for each name in that comma separated list. Using lateral makes solving this very easy, whereas without lateral it would be quite difficult because now it's not just a case of joining to another table, it's the other table actually has a dynamic number of rows based on the number of commas in each particular row in the company table. So the first row in company, I need three joined rows in my lateral definition. For the next row, I would need five because there are five words in there. The correlated inline view I'm using lateral for will simply use connect by level to join back to the number of commas in the calling string. Without lateral, you'd be doing things like table and multi-set, the sort of old familiar way of dragging information into a nested table in order to sort of piecemeal work through it. Lateral, once again, gives you that task-oriented solution. Start with a standalone query, fold it into an outer table, fold that again into the next table, etc. You're building things in a task-by-task -task way, just like you would do in the real world. So there's my new favorite join, the lateral join, because I don't have to now be a black box that converts procedures into sets. I simply convert procedures into what you would call procedural SQL. Check out Lateral.